Without a home button, gestures are the main navigational tool on the iPhone X. And the most important gesture is the one that replaces the primary use of the home button. And that's the swipe up to go from the lock screen to the home screen, or from within an app to the home screen. Whenever we're in an app, this gesture bar is going to appear at the bottom of the display. Swipe up from this area to return to the home screen. Swipe up and pause for a second to access the app switcher. We're now able to swipe through all the open apps. Tap to open one. A slightly faster way to get into the app switcher is to swipe up and over with a diagonal or a curved swipe. Doing this won't require a pause. Usually in the app switcher on an iPhone, we can swipe up to close an app. On the iPhone X, a swipe up on an app card returns us to the home screen. To be able to close apps, we need to tap and hold until the delete buttons appear on the corner of each app card. Then we can either tap the delete buttons or swipe up to close the app. To get out of this close app mode, tap on the blank area of the display down here. Tap here again to return to the home screen. Instead of jumping into the app switcher, we're able to quickly move between open apps with a horizontal slide on the gesture bar. This can make it really quick to move between two apps. The iPhone X has swipe down gestures to access control and notification center. To view Control Center, from the home screen or any app, swipe down from the upper right of the display, or the ear, here in the upper right. Notice that Control Center displays the iPhone X's battery percentage here. Having the battery percentage displayed all the time is not an option with the limited space at the top of the display. Swipe down from the upper left to view Notification Center. Notice that we get the same flashlight and camera buttons here as we do on the lock screen. So that's a look at the gestures specific to the iPhone X. Next up, we're going to look at the different tasks that the side button on the iPhone X can perform. You can learn a lot more about how to use gestures in iOS 11 for both iPhones and an iPad with our full What's New and Core Concepts tutorials. Check them out at themacu.com.